Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x squared minus 10x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is equal to root x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. If we multiply both sides of this equation by x plus 1, then this implies that x squared minus 10 times x plus 1 is equal to root x times x plus 1. Now we suppose that uh, root x is equal to y. This implies that uh, x is equal to y squared. So this equation will become y to the power 4 minus 10 times y squared plus 1 is equal to y times y squared plus 1. Further simplify this expression at the right hand side then this will become y times y squared y cubed and y times 1 plus y. Move these two terms to the left hand side and rearrange these terms this will become y to the power 4 minus y cubed minus 10 y squared minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quartic equation and is reciprocal. So we divide all terms by y squared. y squared divided by y squared. y cubed divided by y squared and negative 10 y squared divided by y squared minus y divided by y squared plus 1 divided by y squared and 0 divided by y squared. So this uh, y to the power 4 divided by y squared will become y squared and negative y cubed divided by y squared will become negative y. This uh, y squared will be cancelled out and here left negative 10. y over y squared will become negative 1 over y plus this 1 over y squared remains same 1 over y squared is equal to 0 divided by y squared is 0. Now we rearrange these terms this will become y squared plus 1 over y squared minus y minus 1 over y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This uh, y squared plus uh, 1 over y squared will become y plus uh, 1 over y whole squared minus 2 times y times 1 over y. From these two terms uh, we can factor out negative sign in bracket left 1 plus 1 over y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now this y will be considered with this y and this expression will become y plus 1 over y whole squared. We write this first negative times 1 plus 1 over y. Negative 2 and negative 10 will become negative 12 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that uh, y plus uh, 1 over y is equal to t. So this equation will become t squared minus t minus 12 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is factorable we write this t squared t squared this negative t can be break into negative 4 times t plus 3 times t minus 12 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out t in bracket left t minus 4. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 3 in bracket left t minus 4 is equal to 0. As you can see this expression t minus 4 is common. So we factor out this uh, t minus 4 and uh, in bracket left uh, 
t plus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression t minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 3 is equal to 0. And from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 3. Now recall that we have supposed y plus 1 over y is equal to t. We have supposed that y plus 1 over y is equal to t. So when t is 4 then this will become y plus 1 over y is equal to 4. Multiply both sides of this equation by y then this implies that y squared plus 1 is equal to 4 times y. Move this 4y to the left hand side this will become y squared minus 4 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and it can be solved by completing the square. We write this y squared y squared this negative 4y can be written as a negative 2 times y times 2. To complete the square we add here 4 and we subtract 4 plus this 1 is equal to 0. By using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This y squared minus 2 times y times 2 plus 4 will become y minus 2 whole squared and negative 4 plus 1 will become negative 3 is equal to 0. Move this negative 3 to the right hand side then this will become y minus 2 whole squared is equal to 3 and from here we take uh, square root of both sides so this uh, square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with uh, y minus 2 is equal to plus minus root 3 move this negative 2 to the right hand side then this will become y is equal to 2 plus minus root 3 now solve the second case when t is negative 3. So this will become y plus 1 over y is equal to negative 3. Multiply both sides by y. This implies that y squared plus 1 is equal to negative 3y. And move this negative 3y to the left hand side. This will become y squared plus 3 times y plus 1 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is not factorable we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 Next, y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of this uh, 3 squared is uh, 9 and negative 4 times 1 times 1 negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next, y will be equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of uh, 9 minus 4 will become 5 divided by 2. So now we have uh, four values of y. Now recall that we have supposed in the beginning we have supposed that uh, root x is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, root x is equal to y. So when y is equal to 2 plus minus root 3 then this will become root x is equal to 
टू प्लस माइनस रो थ्री एंड वी स्क्वायर बोथ साइड्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस स्क्वायर विल बी कंसिडर्ड विद द स्क्वायर रूट एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद एक्स इज इक्वल टू बाय यूजिंग दिस अल्जेब्राइक आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर्ड इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर्ड प्लस माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर्ड दिस टू प्लस माइनस रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर विल बिकम टू स्क्वायर्ड प्लस और माइनस टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स रूट थ्री प्लस रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर्ड एंड एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू टू स्क्वायर्ड इज फोर प्लस और माइनस टू टाइम्स टू फोर टाइम्स रूट थ्री प्लस दिस स्क्वायर विल बी कैंसर विद द स्क्वायर रूट एंड हेयर लेफ्ट थ्री एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस थ्री विल बिकम सेवन प्लस माइनस फोर टाइम्स रूट थ्री नो फ्रॉम द सेकेंड केस वेन वाई इज दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो दिस विल बिकम रूट एक्स इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव थ्री प्लस और माइनस रूट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड वी स्क्वेयर बोथ साइड ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस स्क्वेयर विल बी कैंसर विद द स्क्वेयर रूट एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद एक्स इज इक्वल टू बाई यूजिंग दिस अल्जेब्राइक आइडेंटिटी स्क्वेयर ऑफ न्यूमिनेटर विल बिकम नेगेटिव थ्री स्क्वेयर प्लस और माइनस टू टाइम्स नेगेटिव थ्री टाइम्स रूट फाइव प्लस रूट फाइव स्क्वेयर डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वेयर ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर टू विल बिकम फोर नेक्स्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव थ्री स्क्वेयर इज नाइन एंड प्लस माइनस टू टाइम्स नेगेटिव थ्री टाइम्स रूट फाइव विल बिकम माइनस प्लस सिक्स टाइम्स रूट फाइव प्लस दिस स्क्वेयर विल बी कैंसर्ड और विद द स्क्वेयर रूट एंड हेयर वी आर लेफ्ट विद फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर नेक्स्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस नाइन प्लस फाइव विल बिकम फोर्टीन माइनस प्लस सिक्स टाइम्स रूट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर Next, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out two in bracket left seven minus plus three times root five divided by this four can be written as two times two. So this two will be cancelled out with this two, and we are left with x is equal to seven minus plus three times. Root five divided by two. And first, we found that uh, x is equal to x is equal to seven plus minus four times root three. Seven plus minus four times root three. This is first and second value of x, and this is third and fourth value of x. So we have uh, four solutions for this equation. Seven plus minus four times root three, and seven minus plus three times root five over two.